Hello, in this uh, video I'm going to start uh, looking at how to find percentage or percent of a given quantity or use the word smartly that is without using a calculator. Now when it comes to calculate percent I have people telling me that they have found always difficulty in finding per, uh, percent of a given quantity or percentage of a given quantity. I can assure you that if you listen to uh, this set of videos, a series of videos, I'm going to go very slowly. I can tell you that uh, you can calculate any percent of any quantity quite smartly if suppose it's so useful. Uh, I'll give you a simple example that if you go to a supermarket or if you go to a sale and they say there is a 35 percent uh, sale and you want to calculate in your head without you don't have a calculator how can you do that okay uh, if you have a calculator that's fine but even then you should know what the calculator is doing so uh, I will start by the word percent okay so let me write the word percent or percentage percent you can break this into two words which is per cent now cent has come from the word century and you should be knowing century is hundred and per means every every cent so or every hundred so this if you want to understand the word percent you should be knowing means out of hundred out of hundred that is what percent means in the most simplest way if you understand this simple principle or simple fact about percent you are doing quite well so now what does this mean means out of hundred so when someone is saying say 20 percent what they mean is 20 out of 100 okay 20 out of 100 which is in math you write like this that is 20 divided by 100 okay now let me give you one more example suppose if someone is saying say 32 percent means it is 32 out of 100 which is written as 32 out of 100. Okay, now where am I going? Now suppose the question is you want to find 32% of $150. That is where many of you may struggle. So I'm going to teach you a wonderful way in which you can do it off your head. But for that you need to know at least the times table from 1 to 10. And you should know how to divide by 10s or 100s. So before doing that, before finding that, let us understand how to divide by tens or hundreds or thousands. Okay. Okay. Dividing by. Okay. Let us see dividing by hundred only. Dividing by hundred. Okay. Suppose it is say 15, 156 out of hundred. Okay. This. 156 can be written as 156.0. Now this is only a placeholder. So it's divided by 100. Now there are different ways of explaining. People can be very argumentative about when you're explaining this. So what you're dividing 156 by 100 that means this 156 will become, you want to find 100th part of 156. So this is this is the way I like to explain. This decimal point, when you divide, this number ha will become smaller. Okay, when you're dividing by 100, this number has to become smaller. So the decimal point will move two places to the right. 
in a way it is mathematically not right actually some people say that this decimal point doesn't move that's they are right but uh, uh, decimal point doesn't move the number moves that's fine but you're saying the same thing in two different ways I like to explain like this so this decimal point will move two places to the left so this will become 1.56 okay so this is fine but you, when you have say 12 out of 100 okay here we had three numbers so there was no problem here the decimal point here you can say this is 12.0 yeah but now you will struggle this has only two numbers so you can put in a zero here which is called a placeholder this zero is called it doesn't have any value it's only holding its place so that's why it's called a placeholder I'll explain this as a side example what do I mean when I say 12 12 is same as 0 1 2 okay this 0 doesn't have any value it's only holding a place 12 can be written as also 0 0 1 12 you can put any number of zeros in in front 12 can be written as 0 0 0 0 0 0, 0, 0 12 doesn't make any difference they all mean 12 I'll show you on the calculator okay so let me show you menu there's a simple run menu so if you put 0 0 12 what does the calculator tell you that's 12 if you put 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 12 it will also give you 12 so these zeros don't have any value they're only placeholders okay so what do I mean by this so what I'm saying is this now the decimal point can move two places to the left so this is same as 0 0.12 you don't have to write like this but initially those who struggle this is suppose it is say 5 over 100 this is where people panic what to do you've got only one number you've got so 5 can be written as 5.0 okay I can be written as 5.0 now you may some may even struggle here how can you I'll show you on a calculator again see if you type in 5.0 sorry 5.0 you can put any number of zeros here these are also called placeholders that is nothing but 5 okay 5.0 is 5 okay so these are placeholders okay so this is again a placeholder so and I'm going to put two zeros here or let me put three zeros here it doesn't matter so this uh, you didn't need three zeros let me you needed only two zeros so two zeros would have worked so zero zero now this decimal point because uh, I didn't explain why it has to move two places when you're dividing by 100 100 has how many zeros it has two zeros so it will move two places to the left okay this is where teachers struggle so this has got two zeros 100 has two zeros so it will move two places to the left so this will become 0 Okay, let us let me show this on a calculator 5 divided by 100 so menu run 5 divided by 100 is 0 0.05 okay so what happens so let me move on from 100 to 1000 okay suppose what happens if it is say 6 divided by 1000 okay now z 100 has two zeros 1000 has three zeros so we have a decimal point sitting here okay 6 is 6.0 and i'm going to put it has to move three places to the left so i got one number second so let me put three zeros here 
and so I, as it's thousand has three zeros this will move three places to the left okay so this will become 0 0.006 okay I'll show you this again on the calculator and in the next video I'll show you how to use this to so what did we say 6 divided by 1000 is equal to uh, this is this is 10 times this is to do for some of you okay now this is 0 0.0006 0 .0 is this okay now this means 6 times 10 to the power negative 3 so don't be worried about this so I'll just calculate this is called a scientific form so 0 0.006 is same as this okay I'll continue this in the next video keep watching thank you